he was in seclusion. I went to visit him. His arms were extremely bruised up and cut up. He's very disorientated, like in his thought process. He believes he's being held there for the war. Generally. Lucy is talking about her son suffering from autism, schizophrenia, and a long list of other mental health problems. He's been held in some form of maximum security institution since January. I don't know why he's there, and I'm very, very scared for him. And I know that he's very scared because he doesn't understand why he's there. And because he's 18, I can't get any information about him. This is where a boy we'll call Joe spent two months waiting for any level of treatment. Now, because Niagara Detention Center doesn't have a special needs unit like most of Ontario's jails, it means he spent his time either locked in segregation or mixed in with the general population, all the while being looked after by correctional officers with little, if any, training in mental health. And more often or not, would probably get put into a segregation unit or somewhere because we don't have that specialized ability. Although the government is reviewing its segregation policy, there's no commitment to train more correctional officers and mental health care issues. About 2% of officers are currently trained, although half of Ontario's inmates suffer from mental health or addiction problems. Basically, we're the fallback. There's a, the hospitals don't have room for them. Basically, we have to deal with them and manage the best we can with limited or no training. That's what concerns Lucy most of all. I'm sick of seeing my son suffer. He's sick. He doesn't deserve to be in jail. And right now, he isn't. Two weeks ago, he was moved to a maximum security psychiatric hospital. In the room is a plastic mattress on the floor. No linen, there's a urinal, and there's a camera. She says if community supports were in place, Joe would be in a residential setting, like doctors recommended years ago. He's not a criminal. Tomorrow, the Public Services Foundation of Canada will be releasing this, a 65-page report on the crisis in corrections. They'll also be calling on the government to beef up community supports for people suffering from mental health issues while demanding the minister increase training for correctional officers when it comes to mental health but also addiction issues.